Go ahead. And his arms and his feet, like in color. Like in what? Like in color. Come on. To polished brass. What is the color of brass? Brass. Brass. Yeah, only five, five cent. It's over. I want to any bronze, ne? Okay, so it brass. Le le five cent. Le five cent. Ma wish is over here. Peach black. So they say Jesus Christ was so black that even she see. So let me let me, now, let me ask you a question again. What is the color of Jesus Christ now? Is he white or black? Yes. He's black. So Jesus Christ is a black man. He look like you. So that's not Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? Yes. So that means everything that you learned, what you see on TV, is a lie. There's no white man that can die for you. Do you know him? No, because yeah. this is not Jesus Christ. Who is this? <laughs> no, I said, is this Jesus now? And that's what I asked. Okay, give me a word. Revelation 13, 15. Uh, Let's read it. <laughs> yes, the Bible. You know why we're reading it in the Bible? It's because the Bible is cutting you. That's why you're mad. Man, don't be mad. Relax. Relax, bro. Why? Don't be emotional, man. Okay, you are, you are being emotional. That's why you wanted to go and then you came back. Come on, man. You must be a man, man. Don't be in your emotions. Come on, read it. Go from Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. Listen what the Bible says, who this is. Pay attention, right? Listen, come on. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. So this is the image of the beast. This beast is the white image that the white people gave us. They said, this is Jesus. So this is not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not a white man. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. He's not a white man. He's a black man. And I'm going to show you in the Bible that he's a black man. Okay, keep reading. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Come on. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now, this is not the image of Jesus Christ, right? So this image, I you see it on TV, right? Yeah. You see it on the news, ne? Yeah. You see it on the in the movies, ne? And Bariki man, Bariki Jesus again. Okay, let's see what Jesus looks like in the Bible. Yes? Yes? You know why we put him here? So that you understand, Nori, this is not Jesus. Okay, that's a good question. Now, give me Daniel 10 verse 5. Listen, listen, what, you see this man, you see, the white man you know, has convinced you that black is evil and white is right. So now when you look at him, you say, no, he's not right, but he looks like you, in color. Listen, hey, hey, Baba, listen, 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 young man, listen, young man, well, no, don't be emotional, man, why are you being a woman? Stop it, man. Come on, read that, Daniel 10 verse 5. The book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 5. Because you asked the question, young man, right? Listen good. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked. Behold, a certain man clothed in linen. Uh, this, is, this is the prophet Daniel. You know the prophet Daniel in the Bible? He, saw, he said he saw a man ne? standing, like I'm looking at you now. Ne? Go ahead. Whose loins were guarded with fine gold of Euphrates. And uh, he was wearing a gold belt around his waist. Like this man, right? Is he wearing a gold belt down there? Look at the belt. It's gold, ne? Keep reading. His body also was like the barrel. What is the what is the word barrel mean? Do you know? Barrel. B E R Y L. Barrel. Barrel means green. So he says he was wearing a green garment. I guess that's what you are seeing here. Read on. And his face has the appearance of lightning. So now, in English, do you do things like Barakid Proverbs? Okay, the, 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 no, not verbs, proverbs, idioms, idioms, you've done them, you've done them, okay, read that part again, and his what? And his face, as the appearance of lightning, it says, Ubu Sobake was shining, so that means that, hold on, you know what it means when it says Ubu Sobake was shining, do you know, it's just this eight and one, that's why I just said, do you know what idioms are in English? You said yes. 
No, la lel. I asked you, you do English as calling? Okay, you do idioms. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. yes, yes, you see? Uh, say that again. Over the moon. Okay, meaning, is he literally over the moon? No. No. He's meaning, happy. he's happy, right? So give me another one. Another idiom. Come on, you're smart. Another one. Give me another idiom. Come on, you, you go school home, isn't it? What's good? You do English in school. That was a good one. Yes? Okay, what meaning? He's scared. Ne? Okay, so they are not saying it direct. Right? Okay, so that's what we're reading here. When he says his face was shiny. So, but is his face literally shiny? No. No, so what is it called? An idiot. What? An idiom. So now we're gonna give you the explanation. I'm, I'm sure what did you say no, not, not so long ago? What did you say? When you say I'm scared? Okay, but when you have to explain it so that I can understand, what are you gonna say? It means what? It means he's scared. So what we read when he says his face was shiny, I'm gonna show you what it means to give you the understanding of it. You following, I get read that. But which is yes, this chapter eight, verse one. Come on. Who? Is as a wise man? He says, who is as a wise man? Meaning, who know what? Who know what? Go ahead. And who know the interpretation of a thing? Go ahead. A man's wisdom make his face to shine. You see that? He says what? A man's wisdom make his face to what? Shine. So is his face shining? No. No, but what does he have? Who was So that's why he says his face was shiny. It's an idiom. What do you call it in Zulu? When you say idiom, what is it called? Okay, where now? Dika. I get Sika. Sika. Sika or not Sira. Sika. Meaning, Kyanuke. Noka. But Noka, Noka. I get Noka is your waste. Noka is the ocean. You understand? Yes. Now go back to Daniel 10. Read. With Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. His body also was like the burn, uh -huh. and his face as the appearance of lightning. So, was his face really like lightning? It means he was going to what? Knowledge. No knowledge again. That means he had wisdom. Keep reading. And his eyes as lamps of fire. He says his eyes were lamps of fire. What is the color of fire? It's red. I think that's what you are seeing. He says his eyes. No, I think you know there's a, the, the hottest part of the flame. What color is it? It's blue, right? And then the second hottest? It's red. Then yellow. You understand now? So that means yeah, his eyes was that? Red. So now he says his eyes was red. What is the thing that can make your eyes to be red? In general. What? And what else? What else? Uh, we are standing in the what fire. Okay, another one? Wena? Opening your eyes for a long time. Okay, and then Wena? Watching the sun. Watching the what? Okay, and then what else? Come on, come on. Okay, today is the 16th. Eh? What are people doing today? Bainzan. So when, when you pull the what happens to your eyes? Okay, Genesis 49 verse 12. Yes. Why when it wins and show more pools and more tower. It's a problem. You understand? Because more are you are you gonna pay attention? No, you're not gonna pay attention. Man. Your 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 mind is what? It's not focused. Now I'm going to show you why his eyes was red. When I said by a pool, Zanish, go read that. Go of Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. Listen good. His eyes shall be red with wine. With what? With wine. So what makes your eyes to be red? Uchwala. Yes, because the reason why his eyes was red is because of what? Listen, listen, listen. No, pay attention. It's because of wine. But how did he drink it? How did he drink it? Because Okay, so when Jesus, what was Jesus Christ's first miracle? At the wedding, what did he do? 
He did what? You are right. He drink wine. What else did he do? He did what? He turned water into what? Into wine, right? So when a Muslim shot to any, people don't drink. They do. So here we are reading what the reason why Jesus Christ's eyes was red was because of wine. No, he wasn't drunk. You can drink but not get drunk. You follow? Exactly. And but right, that's what we're reading. You follow? Okay, go back. We're still giving you the color of Jesus Christ, Ben. I'm taking you step by step. This is in the classroom now. Come on. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 6. His body also was like the bird. Don't go until you hear what the Jesus Christ color looks like. Listen good. And his face has the appearance of lightning. Read. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Come on, listen up, young man. Come on. And his arms and his feet. He says his arms and his what? Feet. His feet. Back in the day, what did they wear? Did they wear Adidas? No. What did they wear? Sandals, right? So that means they could see your feet. Like I'm seeing them right now. Here I can see them. And his arms and his feet, like in color. Like in what? Like in color. Come on. To polished brass. What is the color of brass? Brass. Brass. You have only five, five cents. It's over. You have only prongs. Okay, so. If brass, lay lay five cents, lay five cents, my wish is over here. Peach black. So they say Jesus Christ was so black, that even she seen. So let me go, let me, now let me ask you a question again. What is the color of Jesus Christ now? Is he white or black? Yeah. He's black. So Jesus Christ is a black man. He look like you. So that's not Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? Yes. So that means everything that you learned, what you see on TV, is a lie. There is no white man that can die for you. Do you know him? Is there a white man that can die for a black man? Hi. Yes. Oh, let's talk about it. Leviticus 19. No, 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 don't be going. You must still be here. Hold on, wait, one more, one more, man. Don't be going. There's something I need to show you. Leviticus 19, verse 27. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Come on. Ye shall not round the corners of your of your head. So, don't make cheese cope on your head. It's a sin. Yes. When I shy brush, it's fine. No cheese cope. Go ahead. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Nana shall not mark the corners of thy beard. You must have a beard. Even in jail. If you grow a beard, you may sue, you may cut. You understand that? Because when I'm still too young, no, you don't have in care yet. Now, oh, my shy is uh, yeah. It's against the law. Because listen, man, you're going to die. Man. I'm showing you how to how to be alive here. I'm sure they, your parents want you to be alive, right? Listen to what this Bible is saying, man. Come on. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. So that's, those are tattoos. Before you came here, did you know that you're not supposed to plant? No. So when did you find out? So that means, mean when before I came into this book, did I know? No. no. So that means, manja that I know, can I go and get another tattoo? No. no. You know why? Yes, yeah, the same. And because now that I know better, I must what? I must do better. You understand that? So that means, Uti, when are your friends when they see you now with this blonde? But but I'm sure they don't know. Uti, that's not correct. So that means, Uti, in order for them. To follow you and follow the right example when a phone wins it. But Mama Chela also, what must you do? Because me and I cannot remove it, because when I remove it, it's going to leave another scar. So, but I can only, I'll only teach you about it. But I cannot get another tattoo. But when I can, you can what? Turn your hair back to be black. You understand that? So that means you must change it. All praises to the most. That's, some, that's, all, that's what the most high God wants. That's it. That's all he wants. Now, let me ask another question. Now that you know, I get now you know. Okay, let me ask you a question. So, I'm sure today people are praying. Back down, eh? So, do you eat pork? No. In no. No, no. No, no, it's not because it's not You don't eat. Okay, and where now? Anybody else? Yeah, 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 you like it, eh? Okay, so now, 
Do you know anything about cars? Emoto. Okay, so if if you if you if any of your parents have a car, does any of your parents have a car? Okay, what what fuel? What type of fuel does it take? Petrol. So if you take your that car, you go to the garage there. You put diesel. What's going to happen to it? Senior engine. So what's going to happen to the car? And then eventually what's going to happen to the car? Just near end. Okay. So when you eat pork, and you're not supposed to eat it according to the Bible, eventually, I get you said you know, it's not going to be immediate. But over time, what's going to happen to the to your body? No. Don't say nothing. Pork. You're not supposed to eat pork. Okay. So so let me ask a simple question. Do you know the tracks you pick it up? What is the job of the truck you pick it up? To collect a nonsense, ne? Okay, what is the job of a pig? To judge what? Oh, yeah, dili moga. So that's being, if, if kulubega kera is to pusili, ito yi, ito yi ra. Ya kaul again. If kulubega kera mwana yona, a, 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 You know why? Because what it eats, you're not supposed to eat it. Because it doesn't eat the things that are good for your body. No. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Listen, no, listen, listen. You're not paying attention, young man. Listen. I'm showing you pork is not good for you. When I went no guy go spell it, no. And do your full body test, you wanna find things. You don't know right now. You don't know. You don't know that you're sick. You ever hear when somebody says, somebody said they died? Parin ba kilile wasata fell. Parin na ba ba sa kulilu kula uno osho fell. It's because they didn't know that they were sick. Because of what they eat. So don't think you're sick. Because you don't see something physical with you later on. Don't think you're not sick. Stop eating pork, man. You understand? Okay, let's not blow my gun. Why, Bonnie, guys? Le bloma alindi, le bloma le le kapa man ba litre. Oh, what blonde? Okay, and then what killing emotionally? No bloma gun. The older brother how? Hi. Why would I? Why not must you understand? Why you guys don't understand it? What's wrong? Ah, leave your tola, mumus.